guys I didn't really make an intro to this vlog but I'm in Istanbul at the moment and we're just about to go to a concert to watch one of the famous um, Turkish singers <laughs> at the concert and anyone who's Turkish and knows um, Yildiz Tibber will know how amazing it was um, and now we're just having some late night munchies before we go to bed we started off with some wet um, hamburgers which are basically just like steam um, cooked burgers with like spicy meat and now we're having some intestines stuffed intestines um, I'm a bit apprehensive but apparently it's supposed to be quite nice go on ask him taste test what do you think it's good actually. Describe, <laughs> I didn't describe the taste. It's just, I don't know, it's a bit close to the, like lamb. You wouldn't say it's intestine? No, no, it doesn't. Just like taste like normal lamb kebab. I think it's just like different taste. You have to try it to be honest. So it's our second day in Istanbul and we're just having some um, Turkish breakfast. I'm just going to show you what we're eating. So we've got cheese, 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 cheese. I don't know which types they are. Um, cucumbers, tomatoes, some more cheese, honey, um, oh my god, jam, butter, Nutella, fruit, chips, and then olives at the back with some more um, jam and then also this mixture which is like eggs and tomatoes cooked together. So now we're on our way to um, the Sultan Ahmet Mosque which is, let me just show you, I'll show you properly. Um, but basically it's one of the most um, famous mosques of Istanbul and Turkey in general. Um, you're supposed to wear a headscarf inside which I don't have but apparently they provide for you and you have to take your shoes off because they have this special red carpet. Um, so yeah, let's go. finished with the mosque now and we're just going to have some um, lunch. We're having some traditional Turkish food which is um, beans and some rice with some pickles. It's called tushu, it's basically pickled uh, veg veg vegetables with juice in there, vinaigrette kind of juice. It's supposed but, to be a natural probiotic. Yeah, it's really good for you, especially in the cold weather. So at the moment I'm in a store called Mavi, which um, translates to blue. It's quite a sort of high-endish store for this area. Basically though, they're known for their jeans. Every time I come to Turkey, um, I make sure to buy a pair here because, for example, this pair of jeans, just a dark blue um, simple one, is about nearly 200 Turkish liras. 
but if we were to change it to pounds that only makes about 35 to 40 pounds and it's much much better quality so that's the same price as something from Topshop in River Island but you're getting something that lasts for ages so if you're ever here make sure to pop in and buy yourself some jeans and whilst I was here obviously I had a look at other things and I was thinking of buying this jacket it's like this cute baby blue again it's 250 Turkish liras, but it ends up being about um, 40 pounds or something so I think I'm gonna get it <music> So now we're having another really famous Turkish dessert. It's just served like this with um, it has syrup in it, and you can either have cream or ice cream. next to the, uh, the bridge, the main famous bridge. It's basically like a river that goes in between Istanbul and divides it into the European and the Asian side. But it's not the typical jacket potato that you know. It has loads of fillings, starting from olives and beans and everything. And they basically mash the potato in with the cheese first, and then they do the toppings, and it's really, really nice. And considering how much it is, so it was like 20 Turkish liras, makes about four, no, three pounds. Yeah, something like that. For this massive it's thing. This is Turkish dumplings basically. It's just really small pieces of pastry with some meat in the middle that have been folded and closed up into like these little pouches. And um, it's usually cooked, boiled, and served with garlic, yogurt, with some herbs on top. As our last stop in Istanbul, we decided to come and visit Dolmabahce Palace, which was originally built by the Ottoman Empire, but um, the last person who lived here was the founder of the Republic of Turkey, which was um, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, and he eventually died here as well. So they've basically changed the place into a museum, and we're going to go and explore, but I'm not sure how much we can record, but we'll see. 